Hello, welcome to World Mysteries. One way or the other, we find ourselves challenged with sickness, which gets us really worked up. Not to worry, World Mysteries got you covered, as we shall be talking about 11 natural ways to avoid getting sick. Number 1. Honey Honey has antibacterial properties that helps control cough, and it is better than some cough suppressants. There are medical grade honeys that used to help bone heal when antibiotics aren't working. So instead of white or brown sugar, throw some honey in your tea, it sure will make you healthier. Number 2. Use slice supplements. Although vitamins are substances that help your body grow and develop normally, it has never been proven that vitamins will prevent you from getting sick. You pee them out, so use less of supplements. That is why you must develop a healthy immune system by eating rightly and taking the flu shot every year. Number 3. Be positive, stay joyful and avoid getting angry. The brain is what releases the chemistry in the blood. What you perceive, what you see and what you're looking for. If you open your eyes and see someone you love, your mind perceives love and translates that through the brain into chemistry such as dopamine. The pleasure chemical oxytocin and the burning chemical vasopressin attracts growth hormones which enhances the growth of the cells. So when a person sees love and experiences love, the brain releases a cocktail of these wonderful chemicals. And think about it, when people are in love, they glow and they become healthier. The same goes for anger and other negative feelings. So get angry rarely, be joyful and stay positive. Number 4. Get more sleep. This is the cheapest and most effective. When you don't get at least 6 hours of sleep, the amount of natural killer cells fall by at least 50% and they are your first line of defense to kill the bugs that get you sick. If you get less than 6 hours of sleep per night, that's fine. But if that becomes an every night occurrence, you build up sleep debt. That's when infection can really set in. Number 5. Drink more water. Water helps you stay hydrated and flushes out toxins which is able to maintain your immune system. Drink water more often in order to get stamina and to ensure your body doesn't lose more water than usual. In all, stay hydrated. Number 6. Regular exercising. Exercising boosts your immune system. Not only does it improve your white blood cells and the antibodies which fight off all the viruses and bacteria within your body, but exercising also prevents your body from releasing stress hormones. Exercising with light or moderate intensity will be of great help. Number 7. Avoid being stressed up. Stress can really get the better part of you if you let it. When your body is stressed, it creates something known as cortisol which is a stress hormone that actually hampers your body's immune response. So relax, meditate a little, and take a chill pill. Number 8. Less alcohol. Despite the fact that you feel warm when you're drinking alcohol, your body temperature is actually dropping, which can hurt your immune system and its ability to fight off infection. If you're sick or getting sick, do not drink alcohol. It will only hurt your immune system. Number 9. This might actually shock you, but wearing socks regularly reduces your chances of getting sick. When your feet get cold, your entire body gets chilled, even your nose and your mouth. What your body is doing is protecting you from losing heat by redirecting blood to your vital organs. But that's bad because now you have no immune protection in your nose from the viruses and bugs that live there. Number 10. Disinfect your gadgets and wash your hands regularly. Think about all the places where you keep your gadgets and the surfaces you touch all day. These places are covered by viruses and bacteria which can lead to infections. So do sanitize your hands and your phones to prevent infections. Number 11. Less antibiotics. Taking antibiotics doesn't make you recover quickly. Antibiotics work against bacteria, not viruses, which includes common colds and flus. By taking antibiotics, you hurt the good bacteria that's within your stomach, causing diarrhea and other sorts of problems within your gut. Also, when you take antibiotics unnecessarily, you raise the chance of something called antibiotic resistance.
and there you have it 11 ways to avoid getting sick thank you so much for watching please share your thoughts in the comments below on other natural ways to avoid getting sick do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends